It's a Friday evening. Tini and the kids uh, stepped out. We had uh, our, f our friends come in, helping us fix the house. What happened was, um, over time, we our house got so cluttered with stuff, and 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 you know this this false guilt of not wanting to throw stuff out, and the place became unbearable with stuff, and we were really suffocating. So we did, we went through a huge decluttering. And um, our friends really, really, really super helped us fix stuff. I can't tell you how much stuff we've thrown out. And we still a lot to go. So we're going to completely, uh, in the process of, of trying to give a facelift to the house. So it's cleaned up. We're going to move all this stuff. It's going to go out. And we're going to get rid of this huge sofa. And uh, we're going to probably replace it with something more minimalistic. Um, the rest of it is fine. And then we, we, we got this stuff in because space was a huge problem. So really helps us um, put stuff in there and the charges. And uh, the, one of the biggest challenges I had was with my shoes. And so we got this from Ikea. We get all my shoes in there. And uh, interestingly, most of them are my shoes. I really didn't buy them all. Um, thankfully, blessed by them, most of them. Um, and we did this on in 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 the washroom again. Needed more space, so we got these. They so put in towels in here. Um, it's looking great. A pretty minimalized uh, bedroom and uh, and we had to reduce a lot of clothes so basically gave away like three bags of of all the clothes um, so it's fun it's, it's I feel like you know it's breathable again let me show you how many things we had to get rid of this is crazy uh, look at that that all of that and multiply it like five times that's the amount of stuff that had to get out of the house but declutter is always good for the soul so lesson number one from decluttering not everything that you have in your life is a need so when you find out what they are and eliminate those that things you don't need you make space for your soul to breathe lesson number two when in doubt and can make up your mind find somebody that is neutral and detached and emotionally not connected to that clutter to come and help you get rid of that stuff from your life. Because when you are around clutter for a long time, you, you get desensitized to what you need to eliminate. So get somebody from the outside that can give you a neutral perspective and help you get to where you need to go. three it takes humility to allow people into your mess and say it doesn't matter this is the reality and this has to go and get rid of the mess so you can get what's the best Because you see, when the clutter in our house increased, um, that was my salvation. Because I don't know where to keep stuff. And instead of throwing the garbage out and reducing the clutter. Hi, doggy. Who's this? Who's this? Say hi, doggy. Oh, he's smiling. He's smiling. <laughs> Bye, babe. <laughs> <laughs>
There's a handle if you want to. I think it'll be more uh, easier. Thank you, you're on the vlog. <gasps> the best, the best privilege. Okay, bye everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Exit. Thank you. Next week, vlog 53 or 4. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Help you what? Help you do what? Push. Push. So yeah, I was saying, so instead of fixing the clutter, we piled everything and tried to accommodate everything. And the more we tried, the clutter increased. So at some point, uh, even though some stuff is not garbage, some things need to go, even if you valued it much. And that's exactly what we did. Yes. And, and in the process, we've enjoyed the new space. Is that Muzu? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One last lesson from the declutter. The family that's helping us, he said, listen, don't go back to how it was before. All the mess is going to come back any moment if you don't maintain it. Everything that's gone is going to be back. Hello. Say hello, hello. everybody. Hello, buddy. Um, hi, welcome to my vlog. Vlog. To my vlog. Vlog. Please subscribe. Okay. Hello. Please subscribe. Hello, guys. Subscribe to Daddy's vlog. Subscribe to my vlog, even. Yeah. Okay. What's your vlog's name? Uh, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and Daddy's name is Daddy's side door. So, come on. It's very nice, Dada, and my vlog. I had a, a vlog with a pink pop. And you have to see the vlog. It's very nice. Yeah, that's a fact. Well, there's one vlog that she took over and that's what she's referring to. And she has a channel. Search for Catherine Matthew. One boo boo. Okay, okay, back. You want massage? Okay. Cream. Cream? Oh, you want the cream and massage? Yeah. Okay, alright, let's go. So what is that? And this is yogurt. I'm drinking it, okay? Muzu, you just dropped your popcorn. Muzu, um, can you pick up the popcorn, please? <laughs> Listen, I don't think you have the permission to have have chocolates. No, I can have chocolate. Thank you. What is this? No chocolate. Uh -oh. Okay, I'm thank you, sweetheart. Yogurt. Can you share your yogurt? Share. Yeah. Also, Kathy will give you a new one, okay? <laughs> Would you say please, Moses? Say please, please. We had a, such an awesome time last night. Um, those clips are from a place every first Saturday of the month um, in Montreal. Um, it is. It was a pleasure having those precious pastors come. We had a beautiful discussion. I'm thinking I was in tears many times during that interview. Um, I, you're going to. F we're going to upload it soon on YouTube.com/RevivalNation. So make sure to subscribe to that channel as well. And I'm excited about this Sunday um, because I, the Lord woke me up at 5 in the morning and nobody in this world can wake me up at that time except for the Lord without an alarm clock. And I couldn't go back to sleep and I kept hearing a song and the Lord began to give me a unique word for the house. And that was super exciting and I'm so excited to share that with the church this morning. And um, again, that should be available on the YouTube channel. I want to say 
the nearness of God is our greatness. His nearness is everything. And I have the sense that revival is much closer to our generation than ever before. And I'm super excited with what God is stirring in my heart. And it's worth it all. That's all on this episode. It was quite full. I want to thank you for all the comments that you guys leave. It's it's I love feedback. I love to know that you guys are watching and to engage with you guys. Thank you for all your love and your prayers. Don't forget to pray for Revive UK happen very soon um, and help us get the word out. God bless you. Until next time.